my first Batty on a Budget. Um, I got this. I didn't already took everything off the purple. I got this organic Q hair. It's very inexpensive. Um, they usually sell it in the three pack, three bundles plus a closure. But um, my hair store don't sell the straight hair in the three pack with the closure. So I had to like buy individual packs, which it was only like $8.99 a pack. So I got two bundles and a body wave closure because that's all they had and the body wave closure. Well, the hair is in 1B. The body wave closure was a 16 inch and it was only $7.99, $7.99. Um, I sewed this down and then I glued the rest like a quick weave. So if you want to get this look, stay tuned. Okay, so I have the Body Wave Closure, which is a 16 inch that I'm gonna flat iron later. I also have two bundles of the 24 inch. Um, like I said, later on in the video, I uh, wish I would've used three instead of two to make it a little fuller. And I also have a wig cap. And then I also have the cap that's like the same color as my skin. I'm also gonna be using some hair glue, Super Bun, this is like 99 cent at the hair store. Some, um, shower caps which i'm only going to use one of those and some scissors uh that's all you're going to need uh other than a comb that i'm not showing uh that you're going to use to make this video so now i'm just putting the shower cap on my mannequin head that way the glue won't seep through um to the wig cap because like you know i always use this one so now i'm going to put the dumb cap on the mannequin head on top of the shower cap like i said that way the glue won't like see through because i do use a lot of glue that way i know that you know the tracks are actually being held onto the wig um and then from here i'm going to get the the lace closure which i'm going to pin like to the front um so i can see like exactly where i want it to be um i'm going to do a middle part so i'm going to use my t-pins to kind of place it in the middle that way I can go ahead and sew it down the reason I do sew down my lace closures is because I feel like you know that's like the most important part of your wig that way you know that one won't move or shift around and stuff like that when um when that when you're actually wearing it so I'm going to start from front and go all the way around make sure that you tie um tie off at the beginning that way you know it's actually secured and everything like that whenever you're uh actually you know sewing it or whatever like that so go ahead and put that needle you know through the cap and then through the closure and like i said go ahead and you know tie it off at the beginning and once you get all the way around you're going to tie it off again
Okay, now that I've sewn the lace closure down to the front of the wig cap, now I'm going to take each track and glue it according to the wig cap. Um, usually when I use the glue, I usually take a blow dryer and blow dry it. You can do that. Just make sure that you're blow drying it on medium heat because you don't want like... If you're using like plastic underneath, you don't want it to melt to your wig cap because then, you know, it'll be like a whole waste. But from here, I'm just taking the glue from one end of the track to the other end of the track. A suggestion that I can make to you guys is take your T-pin and kind of like, you know, pin it one side of the track before you glue like the other side but what i'm doing is basically just hold you know taking my fingers and holding one side to the other and then just go ahead and guiding it like from middle all the way back to the end once i feel like you know it's supportable uh, on the ends of the tracks Okay, so as you can see, I got kind of tired of holding one track and putting the glue all the way across because now the tracks are getting like a little longer as you get to the top. So a method that I tried was um, just taking the glue and place, like gently placing it on the wig cap, holding one side, guiding it all the way around, and then holding the other side, and then just go, you know, like mash it down or whatever like that. Um, it did work, like if you're kind of like in a rush, but it did get like a little messy, so I wouldn't suggest doing it, you know, throughout the whole wig, but you know, to each his own. y'all so this is the finished look i haven't cut this part off yet but i'm gonna get to the end did my makeup today you see that glow bam look at that eyebrow oh <laughs> but look this is the finished look it does tangle a little but not so much um i did have a body wave closure but um i did flat iron it to make it flat to match with the rest um it is synthetic so it does give you that synthetic -y. Wait, is that a word? 
anyway it does give you that synthetic look but overall i mean you get what you pay for so now i'm just going to take my scissors Right, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off the extra lace. And you want to cut it like to where, you know, you don't have to glue it or anything. And then after that, the inside part of the cap, you're going to cut that little part out so, you know, it can be look more real to your scalp. So we're going to do that, cut that off. And while I sew that, I'm trying to make sure that I don't um, cut that part off because then, girl, your, your lace just going to come out, girl. And that's just, mm -mm, you don't do that. Okay. So, I'm almost done. And don't cut, you don't have to really cut it too big, too big. But cut it enough to where that part is showing. Okay. Since we weren't able to um, bleach the knots, because this is kind of like cheap hair or whatnot, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the concealer, the color of my skin that I use for my under eyes. I want it. And I'm going to take my little brush. This is an e.l.f. brush that I got from Walmart. It's like a dollar. And this came from the beauty supply store. And it's like maybe 2 or $3. I don't know. I've been had this. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to take the concealer and we're gonna put it underneath and then once i put it on i'm gonna put it like down the line or whatever you know just in case also um i do have on the cap that's the color of my skin or close to the color of my skin and what we're gonna do is just like rub this in um just so you know just in case my wig you know slip back or anything like you know it's still the same color as my skin, so you can't really tell. But um, what I do like to do for my wigs is put the strap on it. That way, you know, just in case you got a child like mine's, just like to like tug and pull on your wigs or whatnot. You know, it don't really come on. It's kind of like fit and secure to your head. But um, yeah, girl, I'm not wasting my strap for this. Nah, not at all. Okay, so once you do it, it should look like that. You gotta blend it a little bit more. I don't know why I put that much right there. But yeah, it should look like this on the inside or whatever. So, after that, let's just see how her fits. Because see, once you put like too much, it like bleeds through. Like this, let me show you. It bleeds through like that. And you don't really want that because dead people going to know. So, I just like take that off with my hands like so. So, let's see how she fits. Oh, girl, this is not a girl. Hold on, boy. Uh oh. Hold on, girl. Uh oh. Go check her out. Hold on, let me this camera. All right. So, got her on. Okay. Oh, it's kind of bulky. Okay. Take my comb and kind of lay it down a little. Um, okay, so I got a comb to comb through it to kind of show y'all, like, you know, that it tangles or whatever. It is a little tangly. Okay, so comb it through. And I only use two bundles and a little closure but to be honest i wish i would have did three to make it like more thicker but that's like if i'm gonna wear this like every day but i'm not wearing this every day because as you can see like your hand can run through it but you gotta like help it a little and this is how long it is and it's 24 inches so yeah um, as you can see this is just a regular red cell comb. And yeah, it's kind of hard to. Girl, please don't come off my head, because baby. All right, so. See, 
see. It's like towards the end, though. So, like, if you have a brush, I would suggest to use a brush, but don't, you know, how you do your real bundles. Like, don't come through it like this, it's because you might be missing a track or two. Um, but yeah, just like that. Um, to lay it down a little, I got my mousse. Whatever. Just this regular mousse. I like this one better because it gives it like a, a super hole. Let me see if it can focus. It might not. But it's like a super hole. It holds it down. You hear me? You only need like a little bit. Don't over spray because you don't want to waste this. This stuff costs $4. Okay. Wait, let me get a little bit more. Okay. So once you do that, I would just to kind of you know make it lay down a little cuz baby it make it look like I got like a little cone head. I don't know if it's cuz of my braids or what but no more we can't do that but so after you put that on there just you know comb it through so that's not like yeah in that part right there so like I said just comb it through like this then comb it a little bit more and a little bit more. And a little bit more. And I'm going to uh, link this hair down below. I bought it from the local beauty so supply store because I wanted to do this like ASAP. But you can't order it. It's not going to be this long. But like I said, you can't order it. Um, And I'm going to also put, you know, everything that I used in the description box as well. Okay, fine. This a look. Oh, okay, okay. It does have a smell to it as well. Um, if that's something that you're big on, like you don't like stink hair or whatever, then yeah, don't, don't, don't get this. Cause um, I wouldn't suggest washing it. I've seen a tutorial where a girl said she washed hers and wore it like as a quick weave that she kept in her head for like a month or so but like i said i wouldn't nah i wouldn't mm -mm. i'm a that's why i made it into a wig you know so i'm able to take it off or whatever but like i said like this is how long it is on me like like this long. um and now what i'm gonna do is since i did all that um take the concealer a little brush again just a little dab like you don't need like a whole lot i usually put it on the back of like one of these little things which let me just do that because i'm making a mess right now so just put it on the back of this just a little dab like that much excuse my nails i haven't got my nails done in like so long um and you know just like pat it like the like, you don't want to cake it because they're going to be like, oh, she tried to make up mm, little line or whatever, girl. Okay, right, whatever. Um, yeah, but just put it going down the middle like that. You don't have to be, like, perfect or whatever, but you don't. You just want your part to have. Hold on, girl. You just want your part to have that illusion, like, that is actually like your hair. Okay, so, let me see. Let me see, that's why I wear a cap right there, cause, okay. Okay. Well, that concludes this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, um, make sure you comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And um, I might be doing a giveaway for some hair like this. Like, not really expensive hair, but like inexpensive hair. Um, just like I said, just comment. Um, I comment back. I like you know, I caught me back. 
I like comments all day. Don't forget to follow me on social media at it's Nicole with four E's and two underscores. Four E's, two underscores. Um, let me know in the comment box what you guys want to see next, and I will try to do it for y'all. I do have another um tutorial coming with the other hair that I bought from um Tanashi Hair. We're gonna get with this. But yeah, see, it's like a little. Mm -hmm. 